Hey y'all, and welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. So I want to do a little experiment. I have some leftover paints. I have some leftover fluid, fluid, uh, golden fluid acrylics that I mixed up. I also have some leftover Vallejos. Now, this is my little experiment. I went on Amazon and they have these um, Legion this it's a legion kit and it's like mini pads of all of their papers and today we're going to be focusing on the three yupo types now this is yupo heavy yupo medium and yupo translucent now i want to play around and see now all three of these um all three of these papers will not warp while drying they will not uh, they will not warp while drying. They're perfect when you're playing around with your leftover paints. If you want to make uh, things out of them, if you want to put them on greeting cards, your artwork, or in pendants, or anything like that. And they are actually the perfect size, which is why I wanted to buy that kit. Also, it came with other watercolor papers and things like that in the kit. I think I ended up paying like $14.00. And I got so much stuff to play around with. Now, I want to play around with these. Number one, I want to see how they work when I play with my paint. And number two, I want to see um, how they dry and how they cut for pendants. So I have some paint left over right here that I just painted with. And I'm just going to see like what it sells like. And I want to see if how it will look in a pendant. So it does still sell, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do um, some Yupos. And I want to play around first with this Heavy. And what I'm going to do, instead of doing two sheets of the Heavy, I'm going to show you the stock of the Heavy first. And then I'm going to show you the stock of the uh, medium. If I can get it to come off the pad with my glovey hands. There we go. Alright. Make sure I only have one. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see this. This is the heavy. Okay, so this one right here is the heavy and this one right here is the medium. This one is super thick. This one is not as thick. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually play around with my Vallejo first and then I'm going to play around with my um, with my uh, golden fluid acrylics and then I might play around with both brands and see what I can come up with so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna do like that Oop. and I'm gonna make a squishy this is the heavy paint uh, this is the heavy stock and this is the medium stock going on top and I'm gonna squish it together and wiggle it a little bit and uh, uh, I do want it to move around a little more and I think I'm gonna swipe it off like that nope don't like it so I'm gonna squish it and then I'm gonna peel it off like that. I like that better. So this is the heavy cardstock. Let's see how it sells. So I really like that. That is going to make some beautiful pendants. Let's see if I can get you guys to focus in. There we go. That is going to make some beautiful pendants. This is the heavy, so let's see how this dries. 
Also, let's see how it um, cuts for pendants. So there's that one. Now, let's see, let me wipe my hands. Let's see how this sells. This one is the medium that I usually use. I'm not a big fan of this one. Uh, there's not a lot happening there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown and I'm just going to swipe over it with my smaller swiping tool. And then I'm going to swipe backward. Okay. Now let's see. I like this better. Let's see. Let's pull this up. I really like this one better. That too is going to make some really amazing jewelry. So I will be going to sit this on my drying rack. This is the translucent, and I don't know. Let's see. I. So you can see my fingers through this one. It is lighter. Lighter. It feels thinner than the medium. So let's see. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to use the golden acrylics. And I'm going to whoop, actually do more than one layer of these. Because, well, that's a lot of paint, so let's just see. Squish it down. I want good coverage. And pull it apart. Ooh. This is going to be pretty. So, yeah. I like that. I'm going to sit it aside though. I'm going to get one of my cups here so I don't have to sit it down in the paint. I'm going to sit it aside. I think I want the, the wide rim so that it doesn't. There we go. That's better. Okay. And now let's wipe up our hands and see the medium stop. This is the medium one, I think. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here goes nothing. So I'm going to torch this and see how this torches. very pretty okay so now I have these cute little yupos and that those are I'm gonna do what I call a squish off the paper and see how this works out but I'm gonna use all of the um, no you know what I want to do I'm gonna get one of my larger pieces that I have cut off of a, a larger um, a pad and I'm going to do kind of like a puddle pour and I'm going to use all of the brands so I'm going to do like this 
Woo. Well, and then I'm going to do like this. And then I'm going to do like this. Woo. Stick fell in. And then I'm going to do like this. And then I'm going to move it around a little bit. And now I'm going to take one that's almost the same size, if not exactly, and I'm going to squish it, squish it together, wiggle it a little bit, and we're going to see what comes up. Wow. Okay. So this is really, really, really pretty as well. Let's see if I can get you guys to focus in on it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you have a little bit of that uh, quinacridone gold and a little bit of that raw sienna. And the two different types of uh, teal, they look almost the same to me. But that will make a really beautiful pendant as well. So I'll be putting that away and keeping that as well. Now... Let's see what the other one does, because the other one right here has a little bit more mixing. This is my new one. I don't, I don't have a very much butane in it. Torching from a pie. Going down low, being horizontal to the um, that one I'm not a big fan of to be completely frank, it just doesn't have enough uh action in it. So, what I want to do is I want to scrape it. So that it doesn't have all that paint on it. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. Now what I want to do is I want to do kind of like a flip cup. I'm going to sandwich these different colors together. So I've got the... Vallejo teal with the golden acrylics um, nickel gold color. I'm going to help it out of the cup a little bit because I want to use all of the paint. Okay. And then I'm going to take the golden acrylic, uh, I'm going to take the golden acrylic teal, put it in there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Vallejo Burnt Sienna on the top. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little stir, and then I'm going to pour some on this. And I'm going to move it around and see what happens. Just helping it along. Um, I'm going to pick up some of this.
Okay, now let's torch it and see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one's going to be my favorite. This one's going to make a lot of pendants. I can already tell you right now, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at all those cells. Down here, where it's all those colors up here. Oh, yep. This one's going to make a lot of pendants, guys. Okay. So I think that was a success. All right, well, those that's the difference in the Yupo papers. They all work for what we want them to work for. They just have different weights to them. So just play around, experiment, see what happens. Um, you know, make sure that you keep in mind the different colors, transparencies, and just have fun. Be inspired. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for stopping by. And if you like what I do, please hit the like button, tap the subscribe, and hit the bell for more notifications. Have a wonderful afternoon, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you can get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.